What's up, Dragon Nation? I'm Rich with Dragon Nation Gaming. Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Last episode, we uh, dropped a uh, probe on the moon so we could collect some science. But we didn't get a whole lot of science because we had to send everything back via antenna. This episode, what I want to do is I want to... Well, we might not be able to get to it in this episode. We'll have to see. What I want to do now is land Kerbins on the moon. So that way we can grab a little bit more science and try to unlock everything else that we have left. This one might be a little bit longer video because we actually have three vessels to design. So let's go ahead and get this started. So what we're starting with is what is this one called? The Mark Dash, the Mark One Dash Three Command Pod. Ah, uh, this is gonna be fun. All right. So what we need to do is we need to figure out where everything is gonna be hidden. So this is gonna have an escape tower, but we are gonna need a heat shield. Uh, what I would like to do is I'd like to try to hide the parachutes inside of a fairing on the nose, just like the regular Apollo was. The issue is, I have no idea how I'm going to do that. No idea at all. Uh, let's try. What I need is I need something in the middle. Something I can put the parachutes around. And then have something that I can uh, snap a docking port to. So, we also do need a little bit more monitor propellant. So, let's try that. My <laughs> may work. Alright, uh, we need a parachute. So what we're going to do is uh, triple parachutes. So let's grab that. Let's go ahead and turn on snap. Now the issue is going to be is I can now snap it to that fuel tank. But it's going to be kind of difficult to try to figure out how to orientate it. So this is going to take a lot of moving. So in the interest of time, let me go ahead and get this done. All I'm going to do is I'm going to try to rotate it like that and well maybe maybe that's perfect actually and then I got to try to move it so we're gonna take off snap go to move and actually that might be clear that might work but I do kind of need to drop this down just a bit give that a shot right right there actually that might work yeah, that might actually work. Alright, let's go back to placing. Well, I was going to say I'm going to cut until I can get these positioned correctly, but it looks like we did it. Alright, well, the next thing we're going to need is we need a docking port at the nose. This is how the Apollo did it. This is how they got into the lander, the LEM. So, what I need is docking port. Try to find the one that fits right here. <laughs> there we go. This might actually work, holy shit. Okay, so what we're gonna need next is I need to get rid of, I need a fairing to cover up those, how am I gonna do this? I need a fairing to cover up the parachutes when we launch so that way they don't get damaged. So I also need it to be staged so I can separate it. All right, let's try stack decoupler. And we'll put you right there. Then what I'm going to need is we'll go to payload. I need a fairing. I need the smallest fairing in the game. Is this right? Ah, that's kind of big. Is that really the smallest one I got? I think it is. Well, that sucks. <laughs> that's, I don't know if this is going to work. All right, let's turn it upside down so that way I can have the fairing coming towards the heat shield. 
eh, it's not going to be the best, but I think that'll work. All right, let's get rid of that real quick. Uh, actually, let's try... Let's try a bigger decoupler so that way I can move it down just a little bit. Nope, too big. <laughs> that was too big. This one. Ah, uh, that might be too big as well. Let me move it down to about right there so that way I can put the fairing... Right here. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. That one? Yeah. So we're gonna have to do a small decoupler. Turn it upside down so that way we can stage it. Yeah, I think this will kind of work. <laughs> Not 100%. But yeah, I don't want to drop that fairing down because then it'll have collision, collision issues with the docking port. Alright, so the next thing we're gonna have to do is... How am I gonna do this? Alright, we need... Uh, the emergency escape system. Or launch escape system. Put that right on top. And... Yeah, I have no idea how this is going to work. Next thing we need to do is go ahead and bring that fairing down and see if I could get it to... Do an interstage. So, build fairing. How about right there? Are you going to let me do this? I don't think it's going to let me. Nope. I was hoping it would just do an interstage. Let me see if I can get a place. Alright, that's not working out too well. Let me go ahead and try uh, building the next part of the vessel. Let's go for decoupler. Nope, too big. Too small, I mean. Alright, there we go. So what I'm going to try to do is we do have uh, pieces from a DLC. I'm going to try to see if I can't use those. I don't know how well it's going to work out. But yeah, we'll have to see. What I'm looking for is service module. If I can find it. Where is it? There it is. Right there. Now what we could do is we could go ahead and open that up by undoing the shroud. And this is where we need to fit all of our fuel tanks, uh, batteries, everything else. But let me see if I could get the fairing to connect to that. I have no idea. Let's try it again. Build fairing. How about right? Nope. Let's go right here and then go down. Well, it's not the best, but it kind of works, I guess. But yeah, I think that'll be okay. All right, next thing we need to do since we got all that done is there anything else that I need to put on there? No, I think that's good. Alright, next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and do the service module. So let's get rid of the shroud. Now, what I got to do is a little bit tricky. So we got to put enough fuel in this thing so it could do maneuvers when we get close to the moon. Or the mun. So what I need to do is I need to find the fuel tanks that will fit it. How about this one? I think that will work, but as you can see, it doesn't go all the way up. So we're going to have to be a little bit tricky. You know what? Let me go ahead and find the engine first. So we do have a vanilla engine that is for the service module, kind of an Apollo type. That is the Wolfhound. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. All right, so now that we got that, what I need to do is figure out the fuel. The reason I put the engine down is because I also have to check the uh, fuel overlay and make sure everything is getting fueled. What I need to do also is find a fuel tank that can fit in here. So yeah, that one's a little too short. That's not going to work. And I don't want to cheat it. I don't want to do stuff like this and have it going through. Oh, I can't even do it anyways. All right, hold down Alt. There we go. So yeah, it does go through quite a bit. I don't want to be doing that. Let me actually try something else. Let me see if I can't find uh, fuel tanks that will fit. Oh no, you're way too big. Yep, way too big. You know what? Let's go ahead and try this. Let's try a few of these. And see if we can't get those to fit. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just holding down the alt button. 
which will copy the fuel tank. And nope, that does not work either. It's the same height. Well, that's all right. Uh, what we could do is go ahead and put those in anyways. Try you. How are you going to do? Oh, this might work. I think that might work. Oh, it's just barely above, but yeah, that's perfect. All right, now what I need to do is I need to go ahead and copy that so we can put it on the sides as well. So the fuel tank, what we could do is I'm going to try to fill up the entire space on the sides as well. Problem is we need to check the overlay. So let me go ahead and go on the engine. Do the fuel delivery overlay. overlay. And so we are getting fuel to the thruster. But the problem is there is another snap point right here. But if I put the fuel tank there, does it connect? Yes, it does. Awesome. I just needed to make sure. All right, let's go in and copy that again. Oh, no, copy. Alt. There we go. And right there. All right, so there is a little bit of collision. We do have those merging into one another, but... Yeah, that should be enough fuel. If we had tanks that we could design ourselves, like procedural tanks, what I could do is I could have those fuel tanks come out here and just follow this curve. But since we don't have that unless we use mods, might be my only option. All right, I want a little bit more fuel though. So what we'll go with is the baguette external tank. And it's just going to be a little bit more fuel. Oh, let's not do two symmetry. Let's actually, we need to keep snap off. And see if I can't get it in here so that way it won't be protruding outside. Oh, this might work. I was kind of worried that if I connected over here, I wasn't going to get a fuel connection. But it looks like I am. All right, let's try this one. Can't believe that's actually getting connection. I thought it had to be connected to the fuel tank. But yeah, it looks like that yeah, looks like we're good. Now I need to go ahead and do the other side as well. So here. And then I need to move them at some point. Try to make this as symmetrical as possible so we have ease of uh, control. That I will do on my own. All right. There and one more. Right there. All right. So that is that right there is about as much fuel as would fit in this slot. Let me go ahead and grab a limb. Uh, payload Lem, where are you? There you are If we open this up real quick This area right here in the middle that comes out to here I would want to fill that entire thing with fuel But yeah, since we don't have fuel tanks that shape I think this would be about as much fuel as that would take Next thing we need to do I need to test that out and make sure that that fuel is actually leaking out because for some reason, I'm thinking that that should not work, but it is. All right, next thing we need to worry about is power. We're going to need a little bit of power. So we're going to go with the fuel cell array. We're going to go ahead and do two symmetry, put one on the other side as well. And let's go ahead and turn on snap. I want to try to get it as high as possible. So right there. And also, when you're doing this, make sure that it is actually on the ship because sometimes it'll snap like out here somewhere which is kind of irritating all right next thing we're going to need is we're going to need mono propellant so i need to figure out let's try this one well this one's kind of big but i think it'll work let me turn it yeah i'm gonna have to move this we're gonna go ahead and get two of those tanks oh nope like this and like that so yeah, as I said, make sure look where they snap because sometimes they don't snap inside, but that's an easy fix. All we have to do is just move it in until, oh, let's turn off snap. Right, like, 
I think right about there. We shouldn't have any collision. Alright, let's try this one. Right about there. Alright, we gonna get collision? Uh, maybe. We'll see. Let's go ahead and put the shroud up and see how well that works. Alright, if I could get on the service module. There we go. Nope, everything's poking out. Alright, let me go ahead and dress this up and move everything so that way it's not poking out and... Then we'll see if this thing is actually getting fueled to the engine. Alright, I think that's it. That seems to work. Uh, oh, maybe not. God damn it. Alright, let's go ahead and open that one up real quick. This will only take me a second. Uh, we'll just go to move. Get rid of that. And just move it in a little bit. Doesn't need to be much. There we go. How about now? Let's try it now. What does it look like? Alright. I think that's good. Alright, the next thing we need to think about is... Uh, mono propellant or the uh, RCS. So we're just going to go with the vanilla ones. So far I've been able to keep this thing vanilla. So let's go ahead and put on snap, do a forward symmetry right there and then we'll do some of the bottom as well and I think that's just about it for the command service module yeah only thing we got left is let's go ahead and get some communication real quick so we're gonna need the high-end high gain antenna let's just put it on the side right here just like let's actually just put it in the middle screw it it's fine <laughs> That looks good. Alright, it's not the best looking. If I was using mods, I could get it looking a whole lot better. But yeah, this right here is the command service module. Not half bad. Alright, let's go ahead and run this thing, test it out, make sure all the fuel is emptying out. I'm not going to make you guys sit through that because it's going to take a couple minutes. So let me go ahead and launch it and see if everything works. Alright, so... It didn't quite work. As you can see, we have almost half the fuel still in the tank. I gotta figure out which tanks those are coming from. Can I do a cutaway? Naval cutaway. Alright, now we can see which tanks it was that we were not getting the fuel out of. Maybe not. Well, it looks like this one might be full. No? No? <laughs> which ones are still full? Well, one of them has to be full. Maybe the center. Hold on. Oh, this side. Why is this side? Huh. Well, there's an easy way to solve that. Let's go ahead and revert real quick. All right. So the issue is, for some reason, these fuel tanks right here were not emptying out. I think it's because it might be snapped to the top. And maybe there wasn't a connection. Let's actually see. Let's get the overlay. And that's where it stops. The fuel goes up to the top and then stops. But it didn't do it to... Oh, it is doing it to this one. So yeah, this fuel is not getting to that engine. We need... Okay, so that one is. Alright, let's get rid of that. Alright, so since the these ones are not getting to the center, what I need to do is I actually need to grab this guy right here, the exter external fuel duct. What I need to do, let's go ahead and do two symmetry. Actually, let's do a one symmetry. Alright, I need to bring this from here to the center. And then we'll do it on the other side for this tank. Go from here, center. So now, we should get the fuel overlay. It should all be connected now. Alright, so it does go to the center tank. Where does it go from the center tank? Let's see. So, fuel delivery... Does not go to the engine. What? <laughs> this is getting irritating. Alright, well... I guess the only thing to do is to test this out and see how... If we actually use all the fuel. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do, since it's not working, is I'm going to take, if I can get inside, I need to go from the center tank down to the engine. 
So let's take a fuel duct and clip it right there so it doesn't actually show. All right, now what? I have no idea why it's not working. I mean, I think I clipped everything in the right position. I'm not sure though. All right, let's try it now. Let's try the center fuel tank. If I could get it, there it is. Fuel overlay. All right, there we go. It's all connected. Now we need to go ahead and test it out. All right, so right now I'm looking at the fuel and it looks like they're about even. I think we're actually gonna use it this time. So the next thing I need to do is I need to go ahead, when we get up to a certain altitude, we need to get rid of the, what is this called? <laughs> Launch escape system. So what I need, no, I don't need that decoupler. I need that one, that decoupler. Then we need the solid fuel booster on the escape tower. And then we need the shroud. So let's give this a shot. Three, two, one. Okay, again. All right, there it goes. Oh, wow. That actually went pretty damn far. So yeah, it looks like it does kind of work. And the fuel, yep, it's even. All right, so that is this vehicle done. Now we need to work on the lander, which is a two-stage lander. That one's going to be a little bit more difficult. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close this up. So yeah, that's the command service module. It's not the greatest, but it should work, hopefully. All right, let's go ahead and save that to... Well, let's actually do sub-assembly. We also need to do a reroute. Uh, make the engine the main part of the ship. There we go. And then we'll just bring it down to sub-assembly. Let's just call this the service module. Screw it. Just make it easy. Or just call it service. All right, next thing we need to look at all these ships. I'm getting a lot of ships in the series. All right, now what we need to do is we need to design the lander. Now, the basic structure of the lander is gonna be pretty simple. We do have this from the DLC, but I'm not a fan of that. I'm gonna, it's, it, this is Kerbal Space Program. It is my own design, so we're gonna go one step up. Let's go with the lander can, the Mark II lander can. Now, the cool thing about this is you could change the skin so that it's actually a rover cockpit, but we don't need that. Let's go ahead and change it back. But what I do wanna do is go ahead and open the doors that are in the center. And with the doors open, I'll actually be able to put in canisters. Let's see, which one? Well, this one, how big are you? How many science packages do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this one only holds three, I think. Yeah, it only holds three items. I want one on either side, so we need this one, which actually holds six. And then I'll move them so that they're inside just a little bit. All right, so that right there. I think this one holds six. Yes, it does. So one on either side, that should work. But then we'll need to figure out power. We need to figure out fuel, monitor propellant, all that other kind of stuff. Yeah, this is not gonna be too easy. But first thing, we're gonna need a docking port. Now this is cool that it has a hatch, but yeah, that's not gonna be able to dock up with the ship. So what we need is make sure that we get the same size docking port and just put it right there. All right, now I need to go ahead and move those containers in a little bit so that they're not poking out. Oops, let's turn off snap. Well, now it's probably in the center. All right, let's do right there. Close the doors, make sure that it is not poking out. So close doors. All right, <laughs> that'll work. All right, next thing we need to worry about is fuel. So the thing is, what I'm gonna say we're doing right now is if we cut this away, and you can see that we have kind of a rover. So we have empty spaces that are right here. So let me show you. So think of this as the rover and then everything from here to there. 
is just open space. So that's where I want right in these corners is where I want to go ahead and put the fuel. So let's go ahead, grab the baguette and see if this is actually going to work. All right, we'll put them. No, I need four symmetry. Thank you. Right. Oh, this is bigger than I thought it was going to be. That's okay. It can hang down a little bit out of the bottom. Yeah, I think that will work. Let's go ahead and move them inside so they're not in the way. I need to turn snap off as well. Maybe. Yeah, let's turn snap off so we can get this a little bit better. So we're going to come out to right there. And I think right there should be good. Actually, let's turn on snap because this is getting on my nerves. Trying to get it centered. All right, now we can turn off snap and move it out this way. The problem we get is that it actually rotates it away from the center. So, right there. Well, maybe that's the best we're going to get. Yep, I think that's the best we're going to get. All right, I also want to go ahead and move it down. It's fine if it's poking out of the bottom, not the top, though. So we'll bring it... Okay. Let's turn off snap. And bring it to about right there. So yeah, a little bit poking underneath. That's fine. Now what we need is... Let's go ahead and add a little bit more fuel. Add a donut. Okay, I didn't want to add it like that. There's snap points on the sides as well. Actually, that might be a good idea. Now, we only need one engine. This is going to be lifting off from the moon. There's not a whole lot of gravity and there's no wind resistance, so we don't need a whole lot of thrust. But I want to make this about the same height as the other tanks. Just like that. All right, now we need the engine. So let me, let me see. I think if we just go with the spark, that's the smallest engine that we got. I think that will be enough thrust. But we need more room. So let's actually go ahead and lift that up. Go about there. I think that will work. All right, now what I need is I need a decoupler for the next stage. So let's go ahead and go to coupling. Uh, I think it's this one right here. Nope, too small. Uh, this one. Yep, this Oh Well, no, you're too big too. No, you're the right size. Try to get a couple to the thruster. Get rid of the shroud. Where's the shroud? All right, let me make sure I actually had... Uh, there it is. All right, now we need to go ahead and move that uh, decoupler up. So that way we don't have a gap. We also need to make sure it doesn't go above the bottom of the thruster. It looks like we're good. All right, now that is the ascent stage. What we need to do now is we need to build the descent stage, which is really, really simple. All it is is just, all it is is just fuel tanks and thrusters, but we need to find the right fuel tank. Uh, this one right here, I think, is that the right size? No, it's not. So you won't be either. Yeah, you are. Actually, that might be enough. Yeah, I think that will be plenty of fuel. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. All right, so that engine, since it is going to be trying to decelerate a little bit more weight, we're going to have to go with something a little bit more powerful. So we're going to go with the Terrier engine. Then, of course, we also need to lift that up. And... Let's get it to about right there. All right, next thing we're going to need is the landing gear. Oh, no, that's not it. This is it. Uh, we're just going to go with the LT-1 and do a forward symmetry with a snap. And right, right there. The reason we had to lift the engine was so that way we had clearance for the landing gear. And I think that will be perfect. Now what I gotta do is I gotta try to fit monopropellant, uh, monopropellant, batteries, and oh yeah, we need an antenna. Let me go ahead and put the antenna first. So I just need a one symmetry. We'll go ahead and put it on the top. 
So I think right, right there. All right, so the AMK2, or yeah, the Mark II lander can holds two Kerbins. It's just like the lander that was in Apollo. But yeah, that's pretty much what it's gonna look like. What I have to do now is I have to figure out where I'm gonna put the monopropellant, which actually, let's get the thrusters first. I do need thrusters, RCS thrusters, not only on the uh, limb for the uh, descent stage, I also need it on the ascent stage when it goes up into, huh, where am I gonna put that? Well, let's do this. For symmetry, let's put it in the corners. Uh, probably down about right there. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to equal out the weight a little bit. And this one, put right here. That might be a little too much. I don't think we need that much. I think the ones that are on the ascent stage will be fine. But yeah, next thing we need to do is let's go ahead and start retracting. Uh, we need to go ahead and figure out where I'm going to put the mono uh, mono propellant, the batteries, and all that stuff. I'll probably just go ahead and merge them into the can because the batteries would just be filling like empty space. Then what I need to do is I need to take the cargo and get. How do I do this? Hold on. So right click and can I just drag? Oh, so you just click on it and just put it in. Gotcha. All right, let me go ahead and figure everything out the last steps. Try not to make this video too long. I know it's already gonna be longer than an hour. So let me get some of this done and we'll be right back. All right, I don't like this too much. Hold on, where's that Macedon engine? There it is. You know what, let's give this a shot. We'll try the Macedon. Uh, do we have different skins for that? Yes, we do. All right, let's go with the smallest one. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. That looks okay. All right, we need a decoupler, and what we want to do is set an inner stage, which means we just have a, a shroud that goes around the engine. What I need to do is find the right decoupler that fits this one. Nope, uh, let's try one bigger. There we go. Let's go ahead and get rid of the shroud. Where's the shroud? There it is. All right, next thing we need to do is we are going to need the inner stage, so let's go to payload. Find the biggest fairing that we got because we're going to be going up to five meters. So all we're going to do is come straight up just a little bit and then go in. Yeah, so far so good. All right, then we'll also do auto strut and all that. Let's do that real quick. So auto strut. There we go. I think it only went to the engine. All right, let's try auto strut from here and see what happens. Auto strut. Okay, there we go. Now it's going all the way up to the tank, the fuel tank. All right, so the next stage, what we're gonna need is, uh, we're still not gonna be, we're still gonna be in the gravity field of the planet when this next stage fires, uh, but we're gonna be minus a lot of weight because the first stage, which is extremely heavy, is gonna be gone. So the atmosphere is also gonna be thinner so we don't need as much thrust as we're going to need with the bottom of the ship, the last stage or the first stage. So we still need a little bit of power to break the gravity of the planet, but it doesn't need to be as much. It could be smaller engines. And the fuel, we don't need as much either. So let's go all the way down to the bottom. Let's try this one right here. And now we need to figure out an engine. This one, I might just go ahead and use a mod. Uh, one from B9 Aerospace. Let's see if I can find one. Uh, what I'm looking for is we need a fuel tank that kind of goes in a little bit because we need a little bit smaller engine. So that way we can put five on there. I'm just trying to see if I can find it. I don't think they're... Oh, you? No, absolutely not. <laughs> that was stupid. Alright, so I don't think we have any. What I'm going to probably have to do is go to structure. And see if we got some in there. Alright, let's do it. So structure, let's go all the way up. I might have to also use tweak scale on this. 
But I think the one that we need is that one right there. Maybe. Try this one. That one may work. Let's go ahead and use tweak scale. Get it up. Actually, is this a vanilla part? It has skins. No, no, it's not. It has different... You can put fuel, monopropellant, or whatever in it. Because of B9 Aerospace. So, we're going to go ahead and do liquid fuel and oxygen in it. In it. Alright, now we need an engine. Like I said, we don't need a very powerful engine. We just need engines on it. So, the one we're using is the Mastodon, which is 1350. 1350 kilonewtons. We could go much smaller. Let's try... I kind of want to try the skiff. But now what I need to do is I need to set four symmetry. And I need four of those. Can I flip you up? They're placed to... Oh, wait a minute. I had it. Nah, it's not going to work. I don't think it's going to work. But that's okay. What I could do is we could go ahead and rotate. And try to get that straight down. There we go. Now I need to go ahead and move those. Alright, so I want it down to the same level as that thruster right there. So I'm gonna go have I'm gonna have to take away snap real quick. And there it is. Alright, now we also need to move them inside. Let's also go ahead and get rid of let's change the skin. Like that. And now I could actually move them up. Yeah, I should have done that before I moved it. All right, so we're going to move you up. Nope, let's turn off. Snap is off. What the hell? All right, right there. And then we need to go ahead and move you in. Nope, wrong way. All right, in a little bit. Why are you rotating like that? You suck. All right, let me try to get this figured out. Actually, I think I got it. It just let me snap it right there. And it's a little bit higher, but that's okay. What we need to do, though, is we need to get rid of all that. Let's go ahead and raise them up. Right about right there. How are we looking? I think we're still good. What I'm being careful of is to make sure that the uh, bells are not actually touching. They could be close, but no actual touching. Alright, how's that? I think that's it. I think that right there will work. So yeah, there's the next stage. Uh, trying to do this with vanilla, vanilla parts, man. It's so much fun. All right, the next thing we're going to need is an inner stage. So what we need is a decoupler because we need to be able to hide those. They are not straight, are they? They are not. Hold on. Do rotate and snap. E. Well, no, I think they are. I just I can't really see. I guess they're straight. They don't look it. But that's okay. All right, inner stage. So we need a decoupler. We're gonna go ahead and go with a little bit bigger one. So let's go coupler. Just big enough for that engine. Then we'll go ahead and get rid of the shroud. Let's also go ahead and move that up. That looks dumb. <laughs> we'll move it up just a little bit. All right, so the next thing we're going to need is go to payload. We'll go ahead and grab our biggest uh, bearing. And we'll just go ahead and do that inner stage. And try to make sure that we get it straight. Now, of course, we would have struts, but there would be like some supports inside the fairing because it's an inner stage, not actually a fairing. So what I need to do is auto strut. Where's auto strut? There it is. That goes all the way up to there. Let's do an auto strut. It should already be auto strutted. Yep, heaviest part. There we go. 
now the grandpappy the <laughs> biggest stage of the entire ship let's go ahead and grab this we need to lift this up a little bit so now what we're going to need is the biggest fuel tank that this game offers so let's go all the way down i hope i have it unlocked now oh, it's kw rocketry Kerbidine. there we go and that's the fuel that we're going to need for this thing not only that, but we also need this right here, the Kerbidine Engine Cluster. Because we need five thrusters. They need to be very powerful thrusters. Because this thing is going to need to lift a lot of weight. Now, like I said earlier, this is going to be way too much fuel for Kerbal Space Program. I did try to get a real solar systems mod that has the same scales so we could do this and it'd be realistic. But I couldn't find it. Well, I found one, but I couldn't get it to work. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to go with the biggest engine, which is not going to be that one. <laughs> That's a little too big. This one right here, the Macedon. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get the skin that has nothing. And then also put one right in the middle. Right like that. And there it is. This is the staging. Oh man, yeah, it's gonna be way too much fuel. It might actually be a little bit too long as well. One thing we are missing is we need stabilizers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to find... You know what, I think I'm gonna have to probably go with this one. All right, let's get snap. And yeah, I think that's gonna be the closest representation. And there we go. So yeah, those are just stabilizers to try to stabilize the entire vessel. Because there is a lot of power coming out from those engines. So you do need something to kind of counteract that. And there we go. That's <laughs> kind of what the Apollo looked like. Sort of. Or this is the Saturn V. Alright, now we need to go ahead and uh, get this saved. I think the route should be here. Yeah. Let's go ahead and go to sub-assembly. And we'll go ahead and grab this. Nope, not what I meant to do. Damn it. I gotta do it. I gotta do everything again. God damn it. All right, I got everything fixed. Let's see if I can do it this time without screwing it up. So put that in the sub assembly. It won't let me put it in the sub assembly. Why will you not let me put you... Aw, oh, you little bastard. It won't let me put it in there for some reason. Why not? Alright. You know what we're going to have to do? I hope I did this correctly. So we got our Saturn V. What I'm going to have to do is... Let's grab Dragon 1. And just snap it to it. Right like that. Alright, let's go ahead and make sure... Uh, auto truss is on. Yep, we're good. So yeah, I know this episode is going to be pretty long. It's going to be about an hour. But we have to see this thing launch. We have to see it. Uh, one thing I don't have is we do need separators. Because as heavy as this thing is, it's not going to be easy to move. So we're just going to go ahead and go with... Try to find ones that are vanilla. Which is not always easy. Let's just go with the Separatrons. We don't need a whole lot. We just need this thing to clear those engines so they can fire. So let's actually go 6 Symmetry. Turn it upside down. There we go. Alright, the next one, not too worried about it. Uh, it should be light enough that it'll just pull away. Now, all this, th from here down, should be gone by the time we get in orbit. All this should re-enter the planet's atmosphere. This stage right here should be the one to finish the orbit. That's what we're going to have to figure out. I might have to go ahead and stage it here and just get rid of this stage. Because I'm pretty sure this stage right here, we don't actually need in the game. So yeah, there's going to be a ton of fuel. But we'll go ahead and fire it just to see it fire. But yeah, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to cut the engines uh, at the right time. Get rid of the stage with a lot of fuel in it. But look at the staging that I need to get set up. 
Let me go ahead and do that real quick, and of course we're going to launch this thing. Alright, so like I said, this is going to be a long video. It's going to be about an hour. But I really wanted to show how I built this thing. And we definitely have to see it launch. I'm not going to leave you guys in suspense to figure out if this thing is going to launch. So let's go ahead, SAS. Full throttle. Definitely cross your fingers on this one. Oh man, this is going to suck. Alright, in 3, 2, 1. Oh, it's going slow. Well, that's kind of actually realistic. The Apollo missions, they actually took a while to clear the tower. So that might actually be a little too much thrust. But at least it's enough for our use. But I don't see any wobbling. I don't see... Yeah, nothing's falling off, which is always a good thing. This might actually make it. So yeah, I'm going to go a little bit faster than 100 meters per second when we start a gravity turn. Because I'm really worried about the weight to thrust ratio. Especially when we get to the next stage. So we're going to go ahead and clear just a little bit. Go ahead and get up to 200. I also need to go ahead and check my Apple Apps. Yeah, we're just not going fast enough. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and sh uh, start the gravity turn a little bit later. Let's get up to... Eh, Let's get up to 10,000, and then we'll start the gravity turn, trying to get a little bit more power out of those engines. So at about right here, we'll start it. Ooh. Okay, it turns really easy, too. All right, so at this point is when should we should actually be staging. But I'm kind of worried about that next stage. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's cut the engine. So X, stage. And next engine. Full throttle. There we go. Oh, man. All right, now we can go ahead and start doing our gravity turn. I think we're safe enough to go ahead and give it a shot. All right, so this stage would actually get us to the next layer, which is just before we get into space, or right when we get into space. So I'm going to take it easy, and I'm going to go ahead and keep dipping it over until we get to the zero mark. Keep an eye on my apple apps and my altitude. Make sure it doesn't go too far down. I think we need to stay a little bit angled because we are starting to lose some. So 35, 41, it looks like we're uh, about a four difference. Three difference, no four, five, four. I think right there, that might have it. So yeah, we're going to use this stage until we get up to a point where the Apple Web starts going up again really fast. Actually, we're down to three. Okay, now we're, yeah, we're still at three, so I think this might be correct. I think we're good. Ah, oh, this is, this is kind of, nope, we're, we're down to two now. This might not actually work. No, we can get it. We can get it. Don't give up. Let's go ahead and tilt it. Because, yeah, we're too... Coming in too shallow. We're going to start going down here in a second. Alright, try to raise that up a little bit. We're still at two. Alright, I think we have it. Alright, Apple Apps is at 50. 53. All right, now we're starting to gain a little bit on it. So we're four. Five. Four. Five. Yeah, we're good. It's starting to go up fast now, so we can go ahead and tip it back over. And there we go. There we go. All right, we're going to have to stage this in a minute. So in three, two, one. Oh! I forgot I staged that first, the escape tower. All right, regular stage. Three, two, one. And now this is going to get us up to that 100 meters. Uh, apple apps. 100 kilometer apple apps. All right, we're gaining, so we're good. 
let's go ahead and tilt it over like that. So yeah, not the best launch, but it looks like it's going to work. So yeah, what this stage is supposed to do, it's supposed to finish the orbit, and then it's supposed to get us on a trajectory to the moon. I'm not sure if that's actually going to work. Might run out of fuel. But 75, 76, maybe. Going to start going up really fast now. And there it is. Alright, let's go ahead and set up our... Oh, shit. We got plenty of room. We're fine. All right, add maneuver. Try to get this thing in orbit. Hopefully it won't be too long of a burn. Because I still need to get this thing to the moon. All right, let's do it this way. Scroll wheel. There it is. All right, let's go ahead and turn towards... Oh, we need to go ahead and turn on the RCS. This is kind of heavy. Try to get it turned over to the maneuver. And yeah, it's only going to be a four second burn. So we're going to wait until it gets to two seconds and then try to do the burn. Three, two, one. Full throttle. And we got an orbit. And I think that's it. <laughs> I think we got it. Oh man, that, that was nerve wracking. Alright, so 99.8, 100.85. Not bad. Could have done better. Alright, now it's time to set up a man What the hell is this? Oh, I got some trash floating around. Probably from the last launch. Alright, I need to go ahead and set up a maneuver to get this to the moon. Let's go ahead and set up the target. And see if we can't get... An encounter. All right, so it took me it took me quite some time. I was having a real issue with trying to get this done. So, I the problem was is I was trying to get an encounter before I had the stage because I want this thing to crash into the moon. I don't want it to run out of fuel before the burn is done and then we just have trash floating around. But I think I got it. Maybe. All right, let's go ahead and get pointed towards the node and the burn is going to be in 35 minutes so the burn is going to be 32 seconds so we're going to half that at down to 16 all right let's time warp and be very 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 careful ah we're good okay not no we're not <laughs> i always do that man i overdo it every single time all right, so 13 seconds, a little bit faster. All right, here we go. Make sure we're pointed at the node. And all right, five, four, three, two, one. I think we're good. Yeah, it's going to work out. <laughs> Oh man, I was kind of nervous about this too. I've never tried to do this with vanilla parts before. So, I had no idea how it was going to work. I I usually used uh, KW Rocketry to build this ship. But yeah, there's one part that is not, uh, is not vanilla. Just one part. That sucks, but it's okay. Alright, we got 8.7 meters per second. Let's go ahead and... Seven. Let's point towards the node. Try to get this as exact as possible because I want this stage crashing into the moon. Dude. Three, two, one. Cut. You know what? 0.6 meters per second, I think is good enough. Let's go ahead and check that off. Yep, we got ourselves a collision. Next part is pretty simple. Sort of. We need to do a docking real quick. So I want to get out to the sun. And then what we need to do is we need to go ahead and separate this. We need to stage it. So I need to get rid of the fairing. Activate that engine. And then I got to decouple. So three, two, one. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Now what I need to do is I need to separate these. Hopefully this works. 
I would be very upset if this does not work. And it did not. No, it did. Hold on. Let's go to docking. Go ahead and pull for... Oh, it worked. <laughs> it worked. All right. I need to go ahead and go... We need to turn around. So let's turn off RCS so that way we don't lose... Or don't move around too much. With the RCS we would because the weight is not exact. Then we're just going to go ahead and set this as a target. Make sure we're controlling from that docking port. Roll from here. Now we just need to aim at the docking port and go forward. Uh, nope, you're turning too much. Go, go, go. There, right. There. All right. RCS on. <laughs> it's time to try this dock. All right, so shift. Try to go forward. Ever so slightly. I don't want to go too fast. It's not showing any of this. There we go. Now I got it. Oh, let's get the light so we can see this. And we got a dock. All right, let's go ahead and extend the antenna. So that way we can make sure that we have communication. Now it's time to go ahead and decouple this thing. And there it goes. Oh, it worked. Well, at least we got it this far. So, yeah. Uh, this is going to be a longer episode. It's going to be about an hour, hour and a half. So, I'm sorry about that, but I wanted to go ahead and take the time to show how this thing is going to be built. Next episode, we're going to be trying to land this thing on the moon and try to get it back to Kerbin. I don't have a whole lot of science on this thing. I just wanted to test things out. Later on, we can go ahead and build other vessels that will get us down to the moon a little bit more realistically for the game. But until then, make sure to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.